What is up Average Dad fans, welcome back to another video and today we're getting back on track with regards to tech videos. The past few uploads have been uh, slightly different from technology, you can check them out if you feel the desire. Um, but we're back to tech and April has been a big month in the world of tech, obviously Apple announcing their new kit and so far today's date is the 28th of April and all I have to hand are these bad boys. From the spring loaded event we have the four new silicon Apple iPhone 12 Pro Max cases. They are available in 12 mini and 12 as well but I have the 12 Pro Max. So stay tuned to hear my thoughts and opinions on these cases but also the whole Apple event um, as a whole and I'm going to tell you which Mac I have ordered coming up right after this. Okay, so before we get to what I will be ordering from the um, Apple Store regarding the Mac. Let's talk about these cases. If you've seen any of my videos before, you'll know that an Apple case is an Apple case. They're the best quality. They do what they're meant to, which is protect your phone. The four colours that have came out, and by the way, the colours aren't on the box, so it's very hard to know, especially really slow, what what colours they are. So I went to the Apple website, and we have pistachio. Cantaloupe, Capri Blue, and Amethyst. To you and I, blue, peach, green, and purple. There you go. That's the four cases we have. Now I'm going to open up the one that I'm pretty sure I'll be keeping. Can you guess what one I've picked? Capri Blue. And I will sell on the other three cases. Maybe I'll give one away, who knows? Can this video get 100 likes? Maybe I'll get, give one away if it does. But for now, Capri Blue, as we know, it's um, a very simple unboxing. If you buy the leather cases at 59.99, you get to just pull and the, it slides out nicely. With the silicone cases, because they're only 49.99, which is obviously for peasants, what you have to do is, sadly, is tear off a little bit of sellotape and then you can pull out the case. So, um, first world problems there, I understand that. We've got a bit more time in these in the current climate to peel off some sellotape um, for the generation nowadays that just want that instant um, gratification. You're gonna have to spend 60 pound on leather to just pull the tab and it opens. Anyway, I digress. There it is, silicone case. As expected, that looks, as the kids would say, fire. Absolute fire. I seen somebody unbox a, a case recently and like, oh, there's a bit of plastic. I've never seen a bit of plastic before. It's on every case. Do your homework. There you go. Case. Clicky buttons. Blue. Inside. Felt line. MagSafe ring. Apple logo going to look perfect on my phone and while I distract you by chatting to you about the weather, really nice day here in Scotland, I'm going to slap it on my phone and as if by ma- oh hell yeah, and as if by magic, look at that, that looks stunning. Okay, I've got a new favourite case and for those that are interested, this is what it looks like with the blue wallet, fire! And that's the coast I was using before, but won't be using that anymore. There you go, this won't be going anywhere. Done. That was it. I'm not gonna unbox the other cases. If you want to see the colours, as I say, pause this video. There they are. There's the colours that you can get in the new cases. Um, uh, maybe the purple would look good. Don't know, I'm keeping a blue one. So if this video gets 100 likes and you would like a cantaloupe, pistachio or amethyst coloured case, drop a comment. No, tell me a joke. 
Whoever gives me the best joke will win one of these cases if it makes me lol or laugh out loud. Anyway, that's it. That's it for the cases. Now, as promised, I want to talk about the Apple event last week. So April 20th event. First of all, well done Apple. Awesome, as always. Smooth transitions, like top quality production. Obviously it's Apple, but I mean really, truly uh, exceptional. Everybody's pace was well, and it, it just, it was so quick. I mean, they were announcing a new phone. A color, anyway. Um, I won't be getting that into review. Um, they announced the new iPad Pro with an M1 chip. The new iMac with an M1 chip. The Apple TV 4K with a new remote. Uh, yeah, it was, it was stunning. And iOS 14.5 has been released as well. Awesome, this is all very good news. So if you can see in the background, which I'm sure you can, I have the 2017 27 inch 5K iMac. And while it is phenomenal, I've upgraded the RAM to 32 gigabytes. Uh, it's got 256 SSD, but I use external terabyte SSD Samsung T7 drives for all my Final Cut Pro videos. It's incredible. It does exactly what I need it to do. It just does it slower than the new M1 chips. So I've been going back and forward. My father recently bought an M1 MacBook Air. That doesn't work for me. I need a bigger screen. I'm always working from home, so I need. Um, I know I could attach a monitor, but I'm just saying, as far as the webcam built in, the speakers, all that stuff. I wasn't really going to get a laptop. Um, I've got three laptops. I don't need another one. And the new M1 Mac. The issues I have being partially sighted, 24 inches is not going to be big enough, um, which is a shame because I really, really wanted to get an M1 chip in my life because I've seen how quick it renders in real life with my dad's laptop and it's like a quarter of the time to do 4K video rendering and upload speeds. It's amazing. So, what have I done? Well, I've actually used my brain here and I've thought logically, what should I do? What I should do is order M1 Mac Mini. So that's what I've done. I have the M1 Mac Mini now. I have, and I'll show this set up later in another video, I have a monitor set up with it just now. Literally just came today, so I've not um, got to using it yet. But on order is a 43 inch LG 4K TV. So my new setup will be the Mac Mini for 700 pounds. The LG monitor for 400 pounds and an external webcam that'll pop on or I'm gonna use my ZV-1 as my webcam because that functionality is now available from Sony. Thank you, Sony. So effectively, potentially, that's just 1,100 pounds spent rather than 1,500 pound on the uh, new M1 Mac. And again, I should also say that the reason I'm saving money as well is because I've already got the best looking Magic Keyboard, which is the space grey version with numeric keypad, obviously. And I've got the uh, Apple Trackpad 2 in space grey. So I don't see the need to purchase the new M1 iMac with its colour matching Touch ID keyboard. keyboard. I don't need Touch ID. A, I've got a watch if I want to verify it, but also I'm quite capable of typing in a password access my PC. That's how lazy we're getting as a generation. Put your finger on it rather than just typing a password. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. Well done Apple. Um, I may be swayed if there's a new 32 inch rumoured iMac coming out later in the year. I may be selling the Mac Mini. Which reminds me, if you're in the market for a 2017 iMac, it cost me, say, £1,500. I will be selling it for a lot cheaper than that. So again, comment down below if you're interested and drop an offer. Tell me a joke, win a case. So glad to be back doing tech videos. I'll be back again soon to review the 
M1 Mac Mini and how the TV setup works using the TV as a Mac monitor. Peace.